What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Picking Their Bass TV. If you guys could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell right next to it. Recently, YouTube hasn't been sending out notifications, so if you guys do that, and make sure that you're notified. And if you could also, please comment down below and hit the like button. That really helps out the channel. And uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys do that. Today, we're out here on the Ogeechee River, and we're gonna be trying to catch some big fish. If you guys saw one of the most recent videos, we had a tournament out here, and it was one of the closest tournaments I've had in a very long time. Put it this way, before between first and second place, second place ended up losing by five one hundredths of a pound. I'm not gonna tell you who won, if we ended up winning or if we ended up getting second place, but if you guys wanna go check it out, go check out that video, it's a really good one. I think you guys enjoy it, and we caught some really good fish in it. So today we're gonna be hunting for some big bass. We got a little bit of time while all this water's getting pulled out right now. The river's actually very low, but I think we're gonna be able to catch some fish fairly quick and hopefully catch some really big ones, which I'm excited about. And if you guys want to check out this new Kicking Their Bass TV corner tee, I actually have it on the website, www.kickingtheirbass.com. I'll drop the link down below. Everybody who supports the brand, I really appreciate y'all. But let's go ahead and hop into today's video, see if we can catch them, and uh, all on out, have a good time today. Alrighty, boys and girls, we're going to get this one started. Now, I think on the first bait I'm going to pick up today is actually this buzz bait right here, a little top water this morning. I'm going to throw a few casts with it. If, if we're not catching them with it, you know, we'll put it down. We'll pick up a big worm or a jerk bait or a spinner bait. But I think it's worth testing out a top water this morning because if we can get on a top water bite, that'd be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started and see if we can get some in the boat pretty quick. Here we go. I like some money. All right, threw a few casts of that top water. Didn't have anything come up for it, so I'm gonna pick up this big worm, big 10 inch worm, see if we can get a bite on it. Sometimes those fish just don't want that top water, but you can kind of follow it up with a slow moving bait or even something moving that's right below the surface, like a spinner bait or a chatter bait or a jerk bait. But sure seems like there should be a fish up here, so I wanna double check with this worm. took me right off okay <laughs> that quick well that's exactly what we want is to get bit right away but the last thing that we want is for one to take it off the hook like that we're gonna put a new one on got a little june bug one right here put this bad boy on pretty quick i can cast back in there you might eat it there we go let's see Dude, he ate it like a dang top water. That was pretty cool. Not a big one by any means, but that was pretty dope. Look at that tiny little guy. Man, he's beat up too. There we go. So first fish today, that's not really the size that we want, but you gotta start off somewhere and got us a little guy on this jerk bait. By the way, if you guys wanna check out any of the baits that I use or rods, links will be down below, discount codes. But uh, pretty little fish. Gotta start somewhere. He's got some interesting markings on him. Thank you, baby.
Oh my gosh. Holy cow, was that a bite? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that was. I'm not gonna lie, man. That's probably the hardest bite I've had in all year. <laughs> you talk about a hard just one doom. I'm all up on top of this thing. Maybe he'll eat it. They love taking this worm right off the hook. I don't know what it is. Let's see if he'll bite it again. That thing thumped me. I mean, that was one of the hardest thumps. Mm. Jeez, man. First cast of that thing. Feels like a decent one. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> He's fighting hard, too. That's a good one. That, oh, yeah. Look at that one. That's fat. <laughs> Just throwing around that buzz bait for a minute. Couldn't get nothing to bite. I pick up this jerk bait first cast, boom. Really nice fish right there. Second one today. Seems like they're going to be on a jerkbait bite, but that's not a giant by any means, but that's a really good thick one. I picked up that jerkbait first cast. Just throwing that buzzbait all around and boom, got this pretty one. Nice one right there. Thank you, buddy. God, that was a fat guy. Yeah. There he is. That's a decent one. He ain't as fat as these other ones. He's just a skinny guy, a little grunt. Nothing big, but he ate it still. He kind of ate it on the paws. I've been kind of playing with my retrieve. You know, some days they want it really fast. Some days they want those aggressive pops and that pause, and that's kind of what I'm doing now. Throwing it up there, making some wild pops, and giving it a good pause and they've been eating it on that pause there you go pretty little bass he's got a little thick belly but he ain't he ain't much he got too much size to him well guys i i thought we could catch some on you know some sort of moving bait this morning i thought we were going to be able to get them on a top water but this jerk bait bite is doing all right i mean we haven't been out here long at all I already got three fish on this jerk bait four fish on this jerk bait <laughs> That is a fun bite right there. Something about that jerk bait when they load up on it and you just lean into those fish, so much fun. These are the ones you gotta play, be careful with. Boom, <laughs> look at that guy. He's just thick, thick body, fat belly bass. That was actually the next cast. Oh gosh, that's a good one. Unless I have them on the side. Oh, I got two. I've, I got freaking two, dude. I got two fish. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Double up. Dude, that is. <laughs> what? Yo, that's the first time I've done that in like a long time, bro. It's probably been like five years. We got to get a <laughs> thumbnail of this, bro. Well, guys, I would have never thought I would have came out today and caught two fish on one lure. <laughs> Like, I knew some crazy things could have happened today, but this was not in mind. What in the world? They're both, they're two keepers, too. They're not big, but, I mean, two fish on a jerkbait? That's wild. Like, I've done that before. This isn't the first time it's happened. I've done it with spotted bass. Never done it with largemouth, which is really cool. But <laughs> little fat guys, that's a keeper. And this one, I believe, yeah, he's right on 12. This would be a keeper, too. Imagine doing that in a tournament. That'd be so freaking cool. Taking care of business. Freaking insane. Catching multiple fish on one lure. Never would have thought. <laughs> I was about to say, dude, this fish feels huge. And all of a sudden I noticed that there was two on. That was crazy. But guys, I just, that was insane to me. That's my first cast right there. Catching one right now too. Freaking two fish on one lure. I, oh gosh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, next cast, bro. That's a two pounder, two plus. He might be bigger than that, like two and a half. Dude, that's a good one. Next cast, baby. Oh yeah, that's a good one. He's barely hooked. Oh yeah. 
Look at that one. Good two pounder. Gosh, look at that. Got him right under the jaw right here. Maybe we're about to get on a crazy bite. <laughs> we throw a cast in, catch two fish on the one lure and throw back in there and catch a solid two pounder on a jerk bait. You gotta love it. We gotta, <laughs> you gotta love it. I don't even think I've caught one on a worm today. I think they've all been on a jerk bait. That was a beautiful one. Thank you, baby. What in the world's going on, Cody? I don't know, man. We What's going on? Lose your marbles. You <laughs> Made me lose my marbles. Hey, if I hook like a six, seven pounder, I'll lose my marbles. What if we did that, this next cast? Let's make it happen. What if we threw in, caught two fish, threw in again, caught a two pounder, and threw in again and caught like a five plus? The trick is you gotta work it slow. That's what I just figured out. Dude, I really think the trick to this is letting it sit. I'm gonna work this thing really slow. Look at that right there. You just gotta let it sit. Oh, I got another good one. This thing's pretty too. Holy cow. Not a bad one. Look how pretty this fish is. His lateral line is so dominant. All right, buddy. Calm down, Jimmy. Let me get you back in the water. I know you want to get back in the water. Yeah, calm down. Yeah. Look at that. That's just a chunk. <laughs> that is just a football, but look at the lateral line on that bass. It's so pretty. Very dominant right there. That's some pretty ones you like to catch. Look at his tail too. Looks like a photo. <laughs> That's so pretty. Thank you, baby. So guys, I've just kind of figured something out. I think you pop it a few times and you let that thing pause. And I think that's when they're grabbing it. So um, if we hone in on there, I think we'll get a lot more bites. You know, I was working it super aggressive before, but I think that pause is really helping them commit. Like that, I mean, it's every cast. You just gotta get that pause in there and they eat it. That's how you want to catch them. That's the one thing about jerkbait. You'll catch a lot of small fish on a jerkbait, but you can also catch a lot of big ones. Like I've caught, some of the biggest fish I've caught on a jerkbait has actually been spotted bass. Like solid five pounders, like six pounder. Caught a lot of big spots in the past on jerkbaits, but you'll, you, one thing that you'll notice on a jerkbait, a small fish is not afraid to eat it. So you'll catch just about anything on it, but that's pretty right there. This striking one, especially this color has just been phenomenal. I mean, it's got a purple purple back on it, kind of blue to it, and it's got chartreuse in the middle, or on the bottom, I mean. Translucent body in the middle. And I think that chartreuse, especially in this tannic water, is helping out a ton. They're eating this thing so good. Not a ton of like solid two pounders, which is the money fish out here if you're fishing a tournament, but I mean, still some good solid bass. I'm hoping to see some of these big ones pull up. That's what I'm waiting. I mean, I'm gonna keep throwing this as long as they keep eating. I was almost gonna go to a new spot. I haven't had a fish on a worm. Like I haven't thrown it a ton. I've been chugging this jerk bait, but they're just, I mean, they're munching it. When you get on a bite like that, it's hard to pick up a slow moving bait and throw a worm. You just want to keep on catching them. It's just crazy to me how many fish are really down there, bro. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I've never hooked that before. This is the decision, but I think I'm gonna have to do it. I don't want uh, to. You're gonna lose that one? I think I'm gonna break it, bro. It's a $10 bait too. Oh, gosh. I just don't want to go up on it. I feel like I can catch like five more. It's either I save this bait. I think ten dollars is worth another five fish. fish. <gasps> oh, 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 dude, he's gonna eat it off the. Did you see that? I did see that. Oh my god, dude, the fish just dove over it, guys. You can't make this up. I see him, bro. Hold on. No, I see him right now. Watch this. Oh, I got him. Oh no, he took, oh my God, what is going on? That's... <laughs> hey, calm down, Cody. <laughs> what is going on, dude? All right, give me a sec, give me a sec. I didn't stick him, okay? He just sucked me off. <laughs> dude, what is going on? 
Can you calm down, Cody? I'm trying, man. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't mean to almost run up on the spot. Bro, that was scary. <laughs> I guess I hit it with my foot. Let's we'll see if we can catch him. Wait. So your jerk bait's, your jerk bait's stuck. All right. Yeah, my jerk bait's stuck. As I'm trying to get it off, I look up there. Me and Cody both saw it. This fish like came over the top of it, like trying to eat it. So I'm like, what in the world? Let me pick up my worm. And there he is. That ain't the same fish. No, I saw the side of that first fish and it was, it was massive. Oh. Why can't? Oh. Oh. Gotta be cooking now. Stop. Hey. Come sit. Sit. All right, let's try it one more time. That's not the same fish. No. You saw the side of that first fish, yeah. too. The thing was big. He took my worm, too. I feel like that one would have had it in his mouth or something. Here. All I know... You wiggled that jerk bait a couple of times. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. That is just crazy to me. So, anyways, getting to the point... This is an expensive bait, and I really don't want to lose it, but at the same time... There's fish up there, so I don't want to go up there. I'm going to have to. Oh my God, I got it back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're so right. I need to at least check my line. Oh, she money, bro. She money? But what I will say... See that? That's why I got lucky. That is the one good thing about a jerk bait. They got really thin hooks. These aren't really that thin, which is honestly better in my opinion, because I'll buy some jerk bait hooks, like some some crazy expensive jerk baits. Like I usually fish like a mega bass. It's a great jerk bait, but they're like $25 and they come with the worst hooks. These are actually good hooks. And they still bent out, which is perfect in this case. So that's money. That's money, dude. Water seems like it's coming in now. Oh, there's a school of bass, bro. You can't make this up. There's a school of bass right here. Watch this. Look, look at him chasing it. Oh my God. Did you see like that kind of boil there? Yeah. That was a whole school of bass. They weren't big, they were small, but I could see them. That was literally a whole school of bass. How many did you I was like six or seven of them. They weren't big though, they were all small. Yeah. I kind of scared them when I threw that jerk bait in there. Like they were tiny, tiny, but that was pretty cool to see. <sighs> Got another one. That's a good one. Nice bass. Barely hooked. Come here, buddy. Just got it. Got him in the nose. Look at this. Barely hooked. That's a good one. It's fat and chunky. Fat and chunky monkey. He ate it closer to the boat. That was like one of my paws casts. Really big paws. He ate it. <clears throat> I don't think they're bass, though. I don't know. There's still bass in there, though. I don't think they're bluegill. I don't know what they are. It's a little squirt. A little fat dude. I don't know, guys. I keep seeing... Look at that. Did you see that? Watch this. Dude, there's a lot of fish here. I... There's a lot of different fish though. It's not all bass. I don't even think that was a bass. I don't know what they are. I don't know if it's a saltwater fish. It ain't bluegill. It ain't bass. They would eat it. Mullet maybe? There they go. Kinda looks like mullet. I don't know. Like smaller. There's one right there. Like we're fishing a dang aquarium. 
<laughs> they're smoking this thing crazy day boys crazy day nothing much nothing to them but they're just fun man they fight really hard too that's the cool thing about the river as well these fish live in this current when you have these fish living in a current like this they get strong you know they're used to tugging they're used to staying in that water with the current moving so these fish they're used to this they're built up they're really strong well guys we put a smack down on those fish with the jerk bait we had a great time if you guys enjoyed it please hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already and if you could please share my channel with a friend get them in the fishing thank you guys so much for the support i love you so much i'll catch you all in the next video